too well filled with sadness. This world is one of sadness. Battle brings death. Death brings sorrow. The living may not hear them. Their voices may fall upon deaf ears. But make no mistake. The dead are not silent. Now you will know the sorrow of those whose lives you have ended. Cobra unit called the Sorrow. Yes, I've heard of him. He was an uncanny soldier who fought alongside the boss. What about him and the boss? What was the story between them? He's been dead for two years now. He died two years ago? At Salino Yarsk. You know, those cliffs you were at. And the boss is the one who did him in. He was never there in the first place. He just couldn't let go of the boss. Here's your equipment. Eva, you could use a towel. So could you.
want some? No, thanks. <clears throat> Don't like snakes? Not for dinner. Mm. Didn't you have to eat them at the KGB? In my training, we always got the good stuff. French, Italian, that kind of thing. A regular Matahari. The least you could do is call me Cynthia. Tell me something. How does it feel to spy on your own country? I can't say it feels good, but it's my job. Can't even eat a snake during a mission, huh? I wouldn't mind eating you. When this mission's over, you'll have to treat me to a nice dinner. What do you want to eat? Let's see. How about sushi? Sushi? It's Japanese. I hear it's all the rage right now. Supposedly, it's made from raw fish. Raw fish? Just the place for my survival techniques. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Snake. What a I'll be your eyes from now on. I'm searching and I'll melt into you. <laughs> what a fear in my heart. But you're so supreme. Are you all right? It's not like I can't see. I've got one good eye and can still fire a gun. Really? Good. Eva, didn't you steal some explosives out of the fortress? C3, a highly potent explosive from the West. It can be molded into any shape, like clay. With just this much, you could blow up the Shagohat and the lab along with it. Is that right? Yeah, but there's a trick to using it. Tell me about it. Well, what do you think? I'll get things ready for our escape. There's a rail bridge to the north. I'm gonna set a bomb there, so I'm taking half of the C3 with me. Right. I'll set off the weapons lab then. Try not to be in the neighborhood when it happens. Gotcha. And watch out for Ocelot. He suspects you're not who you say you are. Don't worry. The Colonel still trusts me. And I have my ways. There's not a man alive who can resist my charms. Uh. Besides you, of course. I'm just warning you, Eva. That's all. I know. Okay, let's go. You seem like you were born on one of those. <laughs> if I didn't ride every day, I couldn't go on living. Huh? When I'm riding, the wind hits me so hard that it hurts. That pain keeps my mind off the pain of having to be someone else. It's not easy always fooling myself like this. It's only when I'm on the bike that I'm free to be the real me. I only get off my bike when I fall in love or fall dead. What's your name? Tatiana. No. Your real name. <laughs> What's wrong with Tanya? Huh. Okay, Tanya. Don't let anyone see you. Huh? Oh, this? It's a button camera. What did you do that for? Insurance. To make sure you don't double cross me.
Got you this time. Why'd you come back? This woman was found snooping around my underground vault. When she was captured, look what we found on her. The Philosopher's Legacy. This microfilm contains all the information regarding the Legacy. You might say that this film itself is the Philosopher's Legacy. It was the smell that gave her away. No, not the perfume. It was gasoline. Motorcycle gasoline. She reeked of it. To think that lovely Tatiana was a spy. We found this radio along with her too. Such a fine woman she was. It almost pains me to have to kill her. <laughs> yes, she was an obedient one. She was my precious little pet. Isn't that right? What was that? Do you have something to say to me? Go to hell! You dirty whore. I've had enough. Kisses from you. I should have known. Sokolov wasn't man enough to have a lover like that. Just like the KGB to send something so beautiful, yet so deadly. I have lost the Cobras, but I still have the Shagohod and the Legacy. There is nothing America can do to stop us. Boss, take this someplace safe. Take good care of it. He wouldn't have come waltzing back in here unless he had a reason. The C-3's been stolen. He must be planning some sort of sabotage. I'll go see if there are any surprises waiting for us. I'll dispose of her as well.
everything to me. Fight like a warrior, Volgan. But of course. Let me face him. I've been waiting for this moment. Time to get even! Ah, no more judo and no more field strips. Enough of this. He's mine. You will stand right there and watch. Got it? Please, Colonel, let me- Silence! Sorry for the delay. Let's get started, shall we? This is a once-in-a-lifetime battle. Let's make it a good one. During the last Great War, the most powerful men in America, China, and the Soviet Union had a secret pact. The pact was a blueprint for defeating the Axis powers and creating a new world order. To secure victory in the war, the three countries pooled their resources to conduct the most covert types of operations and research. The atomic bomb, rocket technology, the Cobra unit. And they amassed an enormous sum of money to fund these projects. Enough to fight the war five times over. 
That wealth is the Philosopher's legacy. Let's get started, shall we? Ah! 